Do you think there's life on Mars? Uh, like uh, no longer, well, already living, but uh, currently living, but also no longer living, like that we might be able to find life, as, as some people suspect, basic uh, microbial life. I'm not so sure about in our own solar system. And, and I do think it might be hard to untangle if we somehow contaminated other things as well. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure about this close to home. That would be really exciting. Yes. Like, do you think about the Drake equation much of like... That was what, yeah, what got me <laughs> into all of this, yeah. Yeah, because uh, one of the questions is how hard is it for life to start on a habitable planet? Like, if you have a lot of the basic conditions, not exactly like Earth, but basic Earth-like conditions, how hard is it for life to start? And if you find life on Mars or find life on Europa, that means it's way easier. That's a good thing to confirm that if you have a habitable planet, then there's going to be life. And that like immediately, that's gonna, that would be super exciting because that means there's like trillions of planets yes. with basic life out there. Though of all the planets in our solar system, Earth is clearly the most habitable. So uh, I would not be discouraged if we didn't find it on another planet in True. our solar system. True. And again, that life could look very different. It's habitable yeah. for Earth-like life, right, exactly. but it could be uh, totally different. I still think that trees are quite possibly more intelligent than humans, but their intelligence is carried out over a time scale that we're just not able to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Like they might be running the entirety of human civilization and we're just like too dumb to realize <laughs> that they're they're the smart ones. Maybe that's the alien message in the trees. It's in the, in the trees. Uh, yeah, it's not in the uh, monolith in the Utah desert. It's in the trees. Right, yeah. 